Rationals are collections of rationals that kind of look like everything to the left of some stuff, right? Although there isn't really a point here that we can refer to, so it, it, that's why we refer to it by these three properties. Okay, so here's a question for you. What's the, what's the only way, what's the natural way to define an order? Let me show you two cuts here. Here is um, alpha, here is beta, and alpha kind of looks like this, and beta kind of looks like this. How would you define cut, Rebecca? Sorry, order. How, how would I, when, when should I say, thank you, when should I say alpha is less than be, uh, beta? Okay, that's one way to do it. Uh, I mean, that's, that's one way to think about it, but there's probably an easier way to say it because of some of these properties that we have. I mean, for instance, if you, you're saying, we'll say alpha is less than beta if there's something here that's not here, but there may be an easier way to say that. Yes? If there's an element of beta that's not, that's, that, uh, that's not in alpha, that's what Rebecca said. Is there an easier way? Steve? Okay, there's, there's no, um, there's no, uh, there, uh, there's no need to show anything. We're making a definition. So what are you suggesting? I have two cuts. Let's define alpha to be less than beta if what's true? Thank you. Very good. A very simple definition. So we'll def define the order alpha. We're going to say alpha is less than beta um, means uh, alpha is contained in beta and it's not equal to. So it's properly contained. By the way, I could have written this, say alpha is less than beta if alpha is less than or equal to beta, but I, I don't really mean if, I mean if and only if, right? I mean this is, I'm making a definition, right? So that's why I wrote the word means. Yes? Yeah, what do you mean I put all the cuts together? Do you mean unioning the sets of rationals? Okay, so the question was, uh, if you have something that's supposed to correspond with our notion of the square root of three, does it, uh, contain the square root of 2, yeah. the thing that corresponds to the square root of 2? What, what numbers? Uh, I, oh, I see what you're saying. In other words, where is the square root of 2 in this set, the thing that's supposed to correspond to the square root of 2? Haven't said that yet, but uh, I, I'll, I'll just hint at it. It is exactly the... The, 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 it will exactly correspond to the rationals that are to the left of the square root of 2 if, uh, in the way you normally think about it. The point is, I don't have to, to talk about, I don't, I, I don't have to refer to the square root of 2 in making this definition. Okay, so um, I'll, I'll try to be more explicit about it once we get there, but the idea is, um, you remember this set that had no least upper bound in Q? Well, guess what? It'll have a least upper bound in R once, I, once we talk about how to take least upper supremums over here. Okay. Okay. Uh, yeah. Excellent question. It, it's a little it's a little wild to wrap wrap your head around this. It's but it's uh, um, but it's it's quite um, it's quite amazing. Okay. So first of all, is this an order? I'm not going to do this part. I'm just going to say check that it's an order. Trichotomy. Is it possible for alpha to be less than beta and beta to be less than alpha? If this is a proper containment, 
No, clear, okay, right? And the only way they're equal is if they're is exactly equal containment. Uh, does it satisfy transitivity? Clear, right? But you should check. Okay, it's an order. Very good. What else? Well, uh, I want to know, does it have an oper operations that I can deal with? And that's the, that's, the very, that's the amazing thing, is that we can actually define an operation. You tell me how to define addition. Let's see, I think I want to keep those boards for now. How should I define addition of cuts? Remember, a cut is a collection of rationals. So I give you a picture here. Here is, um, this is alpha. This is um, beta, whole, it's a, this other collection. So how do you think we could define a new collection which we will call alpha plus beta? A new collection of rationals. Now maybe, maybe one of the rationals here is uh, three halves. Maybe another rational here is two. Yes? Excellent. So one of the things here might should be uh, two plus three halves, three and a half, right? But there should be a lot of other things too. Add all possible pairs, and uh, that's a set of rationals, isn't it? So addition. Let's define alpha plus beta to be, sometimes uh, we write colon equals. It means define, it's a definition equal. You do this in computer science, perhaps. Uh, to be the set of all R plus S such that R is in alpha and what? S is in beta. Period. Okay. Oh, interesting. Is this a collection of rationals? Yes. Is it a cut? Oh, hmm. Something to check. Right? So you have to check that it's a cut. Uh, let's think through uh, whether this makes sense. Check it, it, it's a cut. First of all, is it non-trivial? If there's something in alpha and something in beta, isn't there something here? And if this isn't everything, is it, is it clear that this is, can't be everything? Yeah, you'd have to check. So if it's not everything, then this has an upper bound. Let's call it um, uh, M. This has an upper bound N. Then I claim, is there something that uh, has an upper bound for this? M plus N. So it doesn't contain everything. OK? With me? OK. It's a, let's see. Is it closed downward? Something to check. And. Uh, if, uh, if we were to do this just thinking about it, why is it that if you have a point here, a, a rational here, everything to the left is also in, in uh, the collection? Hmm, interesting. So maybe, I should, maybe I'll do this just to give you a sense of how it goes. So check that it's a, it's a cut. So the first thing is uh, it is clearly non-trivial non-trivial. I'm just going to tell you to check that. Second thing is it's closed downward. Hmm. Well, the key idea here is we're just going to, so if you have, let's say, something in alpha plus beta, let's call it little p in alpha plus beta. Uh, let's take something smaller. So let's say, if, uh, and let's say Q is less than little p, 